Hello, I'm Sula Jalfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The carnival music season is in full bloom with all of the genres, groovy, power and calypso, entering the final stages. But there are questions about the quality of this year's music, with some commentators comparing it unfavorably to that of 2019. The two-year break, some say, may have had an impact on the quality of music output. Other commentators disagree, suggesting that the break may have dulled out appreciation of carnival music. So we ask, does the quality of this year's carnival music match up to that of 2019? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms, and here is how you voted. 14% said yes. 72% said no, and 14% did not know. We also took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. Well, honestly, 2022, I believe the, um, the Calypsonians wasn't prepared because there, was, um, there were issues about if they were going to have um, um, carnival or not. And I think 2019 was much better than 2022. L'année ça la moi est assez belle talent mon mouté. Comme pour cette année passée. Et pour ça qui ça mon notice dans ces calypso choses là, especially I'm groovy so come on ak. Mon veille. Et moi c'est young artist là, c'est mon qui just entre yo fait tellement bien. Et yo still pas ca promote ces mon ça. Yo still ca aller der c'est mon qui était là 5 years, 6 years, 7 years là. Et moi yo parallèle poussé ces jeunes, ces mon qui en tourne dans calypso là assez mais il fait assez bien oui l'année ça well this year i find it 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 it's, it's going good you know because i see a, a lot of youngsters you know come up and they singing some good tunes but compared to 2019 and 2022 2019 was even much better than 2022 the two years of covid really put them back so to me right now they well it's still good i think the quality has not lived up to standard. And I think there's a reason for that. Because of the situation of the COVID, the authorities that be, the Minister of Tourism, they were only toying around with the idea and they had not ascertained whether they would have had Carnival or not. So I think the Calypsolans were underprepared and hence the reason why the quality is not up to par with that of 2019. So I figure out next year, if it is advertised properly and it is arranged properly, the Calypsonians and the other Persons involved in running of Calypso and Carnival would be better prepared. So our Calypsoians would give a better performance on and off the stage. Like in all genres, certain songs will always be better produced and the lyrics can also be better, but they're pretty good so far. Um, I'm a bit surprised that some of the music isn't better considering the two years lapse. Um, I don't think COVID has affected their ability to be creative and or produce good, good quality music. Well, I'm not too much into um, Suka and the Groovy and so on, but I'm more into the Calypso aspect of it. I more listen to Calypso. And this year, to me, I find the Calypso is a bit lacking. It is not what I expected because after a two years break, I expected that um, songwriters would have a compilation of songs. They had more time to write and I was expecting, to, you know, a real explosion and, and like they would have more choices of songs to choose from that would be real great and I, I, I do not see that type, of, um, um, that type of explosion that I was expecting after a two years break. I don't see that at all. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The disruption to the supply chain has resulted in the unavailability of sugar for long periods of time in St. Lucia. Manufacturers for whom sugar is a vital input are at their wit's end to keep up with production as a result of the disruption. The Ministry of Commerce has announced that the situation will soon be rectified. So we ask, have you been affected by the unavailability of sugar on the supermarket shelves? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsstlucia.org and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.